Welcome back to my channel, you guys. If you are new here, welcome. And if you're not, welcome back. And as you all can see from today's title, we are just going to be sitting and we're going to have tea. And we're just going to sip and do makeup and we're going to talk because I just feel like there's some things that I just want to talk to you guys about and maybe it'll be helpful to some of you so nevertheless y'all let's get right into the video <laughs> because I've been really really tense and I added a little bit of honey but y'all let's let's get into it so today I won't be going like full out glam I kind of just wanted to get myself up get myself out of bed and just keep going lately there has been like a lot of changes in my life that became like overwhelming and kind of discouraging and I'm just here to tell anyone that is in a space where they've been isolated to just like trust God if you believe in a God just you know just trust in that put your faith in that and sometimes isolation can feel super lonely um, I feel like that is something that I had to remind myself of in a way. Well, I'm not going to say remind myself. Some things kind of like transpired and I felt like like things were happening or things were going wrong like back to back, back to back. And I have also been praying for a lot of things to change and transpire in my life. And I feel like God is setting me up in a position to where my prayers will be answered and this is just like the enemy trying to you know throw off my focus or you know break my spirit and I'm just not about to let that happen so I decided to get up and get on camera and talk to y'all and just do like a really light beat just to you know feel like me because makeup is one of like my happy places so I was like yeah let me just get out of bed and just get back into me and if you feel like you are in a place of being like isolated I know it feels very lonely and it's okay it's okay you're not the only one I actually um I've been in a space like this before and I did I learned a lot and I definitely grew some from that time to now and from that point up until like now certain things in my life that I felt like I had lost had been like replaced with something better so if you're in that place of isolation and you feel like you're losing friends and you're losing like your marriage or your relationship and this is going wrong at home and that is going wrong I promise you God is just like preparing you he's just he's getting ready to give you one if not all of those blessings and the enemy the devil is just trying to like break you like you could be like two steps away from receiving all of the things that you've been praying for and every time just be prepared for things to become a shit show like there's no you know whatever way or of saying that that's just like what it is so I just wanted to tell y'all like if you're going through something just keep praying about it don't lose your faith um and whatever the situation is I promise you it's gonna get better um normally I'm a person like when I go through things I really go through them because for the most part I try to like you know I want I try to be the light and I feel like sometimes I have to 
like let myself not be okay like I'm always trying to be perfect for everybody and be there for everybody and I also feel like or I've come to learn that even when God is isolating you sometimes it's for you to just rest and like sit and listen to him you know not have any other energies or distractions and again if you feel like you lost something or lost a person just know that God is not going to never take nothing out of your life that he's not going to replace that won't be better and <clears throat> something new transpired in my life like just recently and for some reason like I couldn't I'm not gonna say for some reason but I really was not like I wasn't taking it like I took it hard but as far as my initial reaction I didn't take it as hard as I normally take things and so even with that I that was even more confirmation that the last time I was in this space and placed in a position to where I had no other choice but to sit and like be alone and be to myself and think I realized that I know that something better and greater is gonna be on the other end of everything that I've been recently going through and I feel like I was there's I'm not gonna like go too deep and personal about it but I feel like there's there is this one thing that happened and it was just like very very heavy on me and it was very stressful borderline depressing and i feel like i found a way to navigate through that still with some type of like positivity and just like having faith that things happen for a reason and the enemy attacked again because that was sent to break me and it didn't break me and the last thing that I had that, you know, that was bringing me some peace of mind, that was also just recently removed as well. So now I'm just like, okay, God, like, you know, it's gonna be hard always, like, being in this space or like in this season of your life is never gonna be easy. But just know that you're gonna be fine you're gonna be more than okay and just remember that the last time you were in this space if there's been a last time remember the growth because I can definitely say the way that I'm handling this situation now shows a lot about what I learned the last time I was in this space so I'm trying to be content you know I have those moments where I cry and I let it out. That's another thing. You have to know that it's okay to not be okay. Especially for my ones that are just so used to being strong for everybody. You have to know that it's okay to not be okay. And that's what I've just been doing. You know, I have my moments where I'm okay. And then some moments I'm not okay. And you can't feel bad for not being okay. Like you... Don't let anyone make you feel like you should be okay because it's okay to not be okay. And just know that you cannot let the devil win. You know, the enemy wants you to feel defeated. The enemy wants you to feel like you can't go on and you just cannot, you can't. That is something like for real. You cannot. You cannot let it happen. You cannot let it overtake you. Your breakthrough is coming. That's all I can say. And I can say that I'm really proud of me because normally when I'm going through things, I can become like this, the person that I'm not, which is just like very confrontational and very dark and just like heavy. And anybody that knows me know that is not my vibe. That is not me as a person. I don't like to be around people like that. I just feel like I found myself in a season and in a space to where I had to deal with and overcome like new challenges. And I also had different voices. Like, you know, people telling me this, somebody in my ear telling me that. And you know, everyone has all these opinions and everybody's going to have opinions of you. And you just cannot let those things shape and break you because you know who you are as a person. We all go through things that kind of like 
put us in a space to where we're not being ourselves or we're thinking different like the enemy is attacking our mind, our finances, our household, our relationship. And you have to, you really do have to be careful. I'm learning that. <clears throat> and I won't even say the hard way because, you know, if again, a loss is a loss, but not all losses are bad losses. So I've just been keeping that in mind and not being too hard on myself and letting myself rest and just continue to, you know, be of the word of God and my faith is not broken. And yeah. And I actually like how my face is going. I didn't want to really do like a full face of foundation today. I just wanted to do something light just to get on here and talk to you guys and get out of bed because yesterday was okay. Today, this morning was a little bit harder and I cannot stay in that. Like I have a job to work. I have, you know, I'm trying to build a brand for myself and my name because makeup is something that I really, really love. I'm not that much of like an outside person unless like I would be doing something pertaining to like a date with someone but that I think that I want to start doing. Um, I'm not sure I'm not sure if it'll be on YouTube. I may start a TikTok series of just like me just really really getting out of my comfort zone and doing things that I've been wanting to do. I'm just gonna let this concealer sit a bit and yeah, I'm gonna let this concealer sit a bit and we're gonna sip some tea. I think I want to start like a solo date series of me just like getting out and doing things on my own. Um, it's something that I've always wanted to do because I don't have like many friends and you know like my sisters we all have like a lot of things going on so I can't just always you know like be with someone but there are things that I want to do and I feel like some of those things like it would be okay for me to do them by myself so I think I want to start a solo date diary series I don't know y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think should I do it on YouTube or should I do it on my TikTok because I really don't post on my Insta Instagram algorithm is just like not for me but I definitely want to continue to build my YouTube family and you know my supporters on TikTok are pretty um, consistent so I try to keep them in a loop of things that is going on and yeah I think it's time to set our face I'm looking here in the monitor mirror it looks pretty okay but yeah y'all I just do not want anyone that if you're going through something that is literally on the brink of breaking you I promise like there's light at the end of the tunnel and and I haven't even made it to the end of my tunnel I'm just like confident that with me being the good person that I am I'm not perfect but I am genuine I'm solid like my heart is pure my intentions are always pure and I know for sure that I am a child of God and God don't play about his okay so you just have to have that confidence like you have to be cocky when it comes to that i don't even want to say delusional because to be delusional is to not be realistic and like i know for sure that like god has something cooking up for me and i just have to stay strong and continue to be you know Brittany. i cannot keep acting off of things and just letting the enemy take over because that's what's been happening and it just became like a spiral 
and before you know it I found myself just like in a space that I was kind of like running from and trying not to be in and you can't run you just have to put on that that suit of armor that God fearing suit of armor and you just have to you know just be ready you have to fight back you have to you know protect yourself protect your energy protect your spirits protect your mental because I honestly do feel like a lot of the things that have transpired play you know ha has a lot to do with me just like not being prepared not seeing things as they were coming at me and happening because I was just so distracted you know like I was super distracted just trying to help everybody and save everybody and be there for this person and be there for that person and I also feel like that is something else that kind of like the reason why like this morning was so bad and so heavy for me because like the more and more I sit and I realize like I'm really at one of my lowest points like alone it's kind of like it almost feels like a slap in the face because like I've been there for other people at their lowest and I just kind of feel like with everything that's going on I, it's just like you know it's only me like at the end of the day I gotta get through this like alone and I don't think that there's anything wrong with that in particular it's just sometimes you realize like okay maybe these people ain't meant to be around for real because you know I'm at my lowest some people know that I'm at my lowest and those that know that check in it's like okay cool and then there's ones that just like they don't and that is also something to keep in mind when I do find myself back into a place of just feeling more like me and not so you know troubled and down and sad and problematic so yeah I'm just going to continue to push forward um, I think that you should continue to push forward if I'm talking to someone that may be going through something and they feel just like you know like what now like can anything else happen like what more can be put on my plate or like on my emotions or on my mental just don't give up don't give up don't give in that is what the enemy wants you to do and don't don't you know sit and feel bad for yourself like I had a lot of regret and I felt certain things were said to me that made me feel like less of a person and those things kind of like you know words stick with people and I had to tell myself like you're not that girl even with my actions you know not being the best I know who I am as a person on the inside and I'm just I'm I'm not the girl that I've been the energy that I've been giving like I know that that's not me that is the enemy using me distracting me and I am not letting that be the case anymore so I'm learning that when I come out of this I have to be selective way more selective than I was before because I know that new things are gonna be in place for me I know that I am going to look at things different and some people is just not gonna be you know on this new chapter or new journey with me for whatever is to come I didn't even like go all over with my powder I like this though I like being able to just like sit and talk to y'all I'd rather not talk to like anybody else not saying that like I just wouldn't talk to my family and stuff when like I'm going through things but you know for the most part they're already aware and it just feels good to just like talk to someone 
that doesn't know and that could possibly be experiencing the same things and just know that like you're gonna be fine you're going to be fine like when you want to cry let yourself cry want to cry let yourself cry it's okay to not be okay it is okay to not be okay i'm gonna say it one more time it is okay to not be okay even if things happen and you're the blame and you know your attentions wasn't for things to be how they are and you're sad about it like it's it's gonna be okay anybody that is meant to like be around especially when you're going through times of just like trouble and trying to stay positive and you know trials and tribulations those people that are meant to be in your life will stay whether that's a friend a co-worker a family member your husband your spouse a partner just know that whoever is meant to be in your life god is going to make sure that they are there no matter what and trust your isolation trust that with you being alone it is a reason find the reason everyone has a purpose and maybe this is just like sometimes god do things to get us where he wants us to be so if you know that you've been like praying for some things and you feel like nothing is happening and then out of nowhere everything starts to happen like the complete opposite of what you were praying for it's just a test it is a test from god to see if you're gonna fold and the enemy is also attacking because the enemy sees that god is about to bless you and of course the enemy does not want that to happen so things are going to happen that is going to literally break you and you just have to keep going like you have to and I feel like that is the season that I'm in. I'm starting, I'm learning as I get older to trust that as well. Because it's going to happen when you're praying, when you're longing for something new or like a new setting. Just know that all hell is going to break loose before you get to that point. And you have to be accepting of that as well. Like, I feel like I'm slowly getting myself to that point because, like I said, I've been here before. So I know that good is going to come out of this. It's just a matter of getting through it. And I'm going to get through it because I have no other choice. God has a plan in store for me, and I cannot go against that. And I just have to keep myself grounded and remain me. Just be me, be Brittany, and find the light again. Because I know that it's easy for us to, like, find ourselves in a place of just despair. And like I said, it's okay to not be okay. But you do have to remember that you have a part to play. God can't do everything. You have to do your part and you have to hold up your end. And, yeah. And I feel like this is the face for today. I went bright in the under eyes, but I feel like that's okay. I'm not really going anywhere, like I said. I just wanted to get on here and talk to y'all and just bring a little bit of, you know, hope to someone that may be in a space of just like feeling like giving up and everything has been like removed from them. Like, it's okay. Just know that God is just preparing you for something. And he wants you to know that, like, even when you're crying, he's there. He's there. He's never, you know, away. He's literally a word away, you know. And even if you need, just call on him and just ask him to sit with you and, you know, bring you some sort of you're never going to understand you just have to go through it and get through it and then you'll see like hey 
I went through all of that for this. You know, like, it was worth it. It's just a matter of what you're going to do in that space and in that season of isolation. And, you know, how are you going to fill that time? And I feel like I'm trying to navigate that and do things differently from what I did the last time because I learned a lot and I carried some of those things with me up until like now so I'm taking some of those things into the now but also trying to prepare myself for new things so I can't you know completely rely on like the, the steps that I took back then to get through that with now because the reason why I'm here now are because of completely different reasons from the last time so yeah that's what I'm just trying to figure out and navigate I'm still going to be posting um if you all like videos like this give it a thumbs up comment down below if you are going through anything like you're gonna be fine okay like you're gonna be fine it's gonna be okay and just let yourself just like cry it out you know cry it out you know just cry it out but you can't just sit and you can't cry it out and then sit all day and just be in that like have your moments but you cannot let the enemy take over you can't do that the enemy played a part in you getting into the space that you're in but god has other plans and just know that and have keep your faith you know there's hope there is light there is so much more to your purpose there's so much more to come with your journey and you have to be confident that things are going to be better and know that you deserve those things as well and yeah that is it for today's video Comment down below, share some words of encouragement, and if you're going through something and you just want, you know, to just express that, comment down below as well. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you have not already subscribed to the family. And nevertheless, y'all stay pretty. Thank y'all for tuning in. Bye. I touch that five for you I do that three, four times again I 